I think fishing in the fall can be one of the hardest times of the year to fish, but with that, you can also have some great days in the fall. And in this video today, Randy Blockett and myself are going to share with you some fall fishing mistakes that we've either made or we see other anglers make to try to help you go out there and have a productive day when you're on the water. Hey everybody and welcome back here to another edition of Bass Fishing Declassified. And thanks a lot for taking some time to join us today. We are going to be talking about common fall fishing mistakes that anglers make and today I'm going to cover two in particular that I see out there that a lot of anglers make. So we're going to get into that today. Now the two are right off the bat then we're going to talk a little bit about it is anglers tend to fish lures that are too big or too small in the fall time of the lure depending upon the lure categories. Now, what I wanna really reiterate here is there's two different lure categories that are really good in the fall time of the year. One is a crankbait and the other is a topwater lure. But the problem is anglers make the mistake of using the wrong size in the fall time of the year. Here's what I found to be the best for me and it's sort of a paradox and I'll explain a little bit. Number one, in the fall time of the year, guys, you need to go big with your topwaters. Like this is one of my favorite. This is the new Mega Bass. Mega Dog X, it's a super large walking topwater. It's a big bait. In the fall time of the year, I don't care if you're fishing a walking bait or a, some type of a prop bait or a buzzer or whatever, you gotta go big. That's when you use the big half ounce and three quarter ounce buzz baits, the big walking baits, lures that really make a lot of noise and pull those fish up. But on the flip side of the coin, when you're fishing a crankbait, you have to go small. You can't hardly get a bite in the fall time of the year on a really large crankbait, like a big square bill or a big deep diving crankbait, but you will catch a lot of fish and a lot of good fish on a small crankbait, like this Mega Bass um, S crank, 1.2 S crank, which is about, that's probably an inch and a quarter, inch and a half long, something like that. I think a lot of it has to do with the mood and the personality of the fish, where they're positioned, where they're positioned at, because for example, where you're fishing the small crankbait, it's like in the back of the creeks and the back of the coves, you have a lot of shad there in the fall time of the year. And traditionally in the fall time of the year, you have a lot of small shad out there. And you know, they like to feed in that shallower water on the small bait. And that's why the small crankbait works good. But when you're fishing the topwater lure, um, the topwater is a little bit different. You got different type of forage for the fish. There can, they can be after perch, they can be after larger gizzard shad. They can be after other type of fish, after crappie, whatever like that but it's sort of like one of those mysteries of bass fishing that I found out over the years. Um, I go big on my topwaters and small on my crankbaits. It's been really effective for me over the, over the course of uh, the last 40 years bass fishing. And this usually holds in place until the water temperatures start to get, say below, you know, 55 degrees. Once the water temperature starts to get below 55 degrees, both of these lure categories sort of lose their effectiveness and you sort of get into the late fall Early water or early winter patterns, which is a completely different lure category. So, anyway, guys, go big on your top waters this fall, go small on your crankbaits, it'll add up to a lot of good fish and um, some good action for you. We'll see y'all next time. Okay, guys, Randy just shared two great tips talking about baits for the fall time of the year. And that big top water, I mean, I know somebody right now, a former kid that I coached, uh, not going to say the name just for his privacy, but he has had some fishing days with that giant top water. He doesn't have that one, but he's actually throwing one of the mega, uh, mega basses. I can't think of the name all of a sudden of it, but he's throwing them giant top waters and has caught some fish in central Arkansas, by the way, for my guys that are from Arkansas that watch it. They're watching this so i want to share some guys some top of uh, some fall uh fishing mistakes that either i made and i've learned from them or i see others anglers make okay and real quick guys just know me and randy are with fish the moment you can help support us by going to fishthemoment.com randy has his map lake breakdowns and then myself i do the one-on-one -on -one virtual lessons okay if you're interested in a virtual lesson a one hour uh lesson google me well me man talk about lakes talk about patterns strategies Man, everyone I've done, I've enjoyed, and I think the other people enjoyed as well. So, guys, let's talk about fall fishing mistakes. There's a, man, the fall, there's a lot. And I've had a good fall. Last year, I had a bad fall. This year, I've had a good fall. A lot of it's kind of come from over uh, learning from some mistakes. One thing about the fall, guys, is that I think a mistake a lot of anglers do is they don't, I say, fish fast enough, but they don't move around a lot. 
with that in the fall, you need to use your eyes a lot. Not just your electronics if you have them, but eyes. You need to see bait fish activity on the surface. You need to be looking and seeing just activity in general. Look at the water. This time of year, there's that turnover. The water, if you're if you're in an area of the lake, in a creek, um, and, and you know, and there's kind of a smell, that water doesn't look right, and it's not rained in a while, guys, that part of the lake's turning over or in the process or just got done, and that can affect the mood of the fish. And so that's one thing last year I did. I was fishing some areas that I just did not pay attention to, and I learned from it. I mean, guys, because you know, typically in the fall, I was coaching football. Last year, I got a lot of time in the water, and I learned from that. So just move areas. They are eating somewhere. You got to go find them, okay? The next thing about fishing in the fall, okay, is don't get just sold on one bait. Okay, I know a lot of guys like to fish a jig or a bladed jig or a spinner bait, crank bait. In the fall, guys, you got a junk fish. You got to catch. You got. You got to have. If you have the access to a, a few rods, have different things on, and you might catch fish on every one of those that day. Recent fishing trip that we had a blast on, guys. We caught fish on a single swim bait, a three-inch size Alabama rig, a small crank bait, big crank bait, a small uh, lipless crank bait, a glide bait. Uh, what else? Um, I think I'm missing something still. Uh, a spoon. Come on, giant spoon. Everything, okay? Caught fish on so many deals, and that's the thing about the fish this time of year, is, is this is the time that you have to junk fish. The better junk fishermen are pretty good this time of year. Me, I like to just kind of get keyed on three or four things in a row. Like when this winter's coming, my deck's not going to have many rods on the deck, okay? Just true talk. When the winter gets here, four or five rods. Fall, have as many as you can, okay? Now, if you do not have many rods, that's okay, because I didn't either when I was growing up. I had two, three rods at a time. Have your lures ready, start tying them on, trying different stuff out. Colors, figure it out, okay? Next fall fishing mistake, okay, is, and, th and this is kind of comes from summer. In the summer, you can throw a big worm, Carolina rig, fish slow. And you can still catch fish in the fall fishing slow. But guys, typically power fishing Moving, moving, throwing, moving baits does better in the fall, okay? A lot of bait fish moving. There's a lot of activity, and the, the bass are moving, okay? Bass can be in here one day, here the next, to where kind of in summer, winter, they can kind of get in areas and stay around. But right now in the fall, they're moving, and the bait fish is moving. The forage is moving. So moving baits is going to get you more fish catches, or it has for me, okay? I know they're not, I'm not going to say a jig's not going to, not that I'm not saying don't keep the jig on the deck or the Texas rigs. There are times to flip, flip the individual laydowns, flip the stumps, or throw a jig once or twice in a brush pile. Just don't sit on that brush pile for 30 minutes, okay? Make a couple casts, move on, okay? That's one thing this year. Last year, I, I turned that jig too soon in Carolina rig, and I think I was wasting time, and this year for the fall, I've thrown more moving baits, I've hopped around more, and I've had a lot more success on the water because of it. Okay, guys, hopefully my three mistakes uh, helped you learn from it. Let me know what you think about them. Share your thoughts on the fall, okay? I know guys, uh, cross country can be a little different. Everybody has different fishing styles. Uh, let me know what you think, and about Randy's as well, because I'm telling you, Randy's is legit. That small square bill is money, and that big top water is as well. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.